Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I got a really special video. It's gonna be the first time I do a manga only unboxing. And these are all items that I picked up from Right Stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, before I get started, I did want to point out, uh, I think I mentioned it in the past, but I just wanted to say that with manga, I am trying to just pick up either limited editions, hardcovers, um, basically stuff that would look nice in the shelf. You guys know that I love picking up my limited edition anime, uh, so with manga I plan to do the same thing. There might be a few exceptions when it comes to anime that I just really love and I just wanted to pick up the manga as well. Um, I did already read the Hunter x Hunter, the first volume after the anime ends, and I don't know. I read through that thing super quick, so I think I might have found a new addiction. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started with this first one. And the first one that I had to pick up had to be Vendlin Saga. I've heard nothing but great things about this one um, for the anime and the manga as well. Um, the manga community really loves this one because I think I've seen this one in pretty much everyone's shelves. I've seen a bunch of um, manga collection videos over the past two weeks. But yeah, everybody convinced me and I decided to pick this one up. So I did pick up, I think I picked up everything that's out so far. So I'll show you the first one and then I'll kind of put them all in the back here for you guys to see all of them. So this is book one, book two, Book three. Book four. Book five. Book six. Book seven. Book eight. Book nine, book 10. Oh, I don't know why, but I really love the artwork on this one. I think it looks pretty cool. I think it might actually be one of my favorite ones. I mean, all of these look amazing, but this one in particular caught my attention as soon as I saw it. And then the last one I have here is book 11. So I haven't seen the anime for this one actually. Um, so I'm still indecisive about whether I should watch the anime first or read the manga, but I just decided to pick them all up. Um, I didn't pick these up all at full price. I believe there was a sale going on. And um, on top of that, August was my was my birthday and Right Stuff gave me a, like a 5% off code. So I was able to use that to pick up all of this manga that you guys are gonna see in this haul today. But yeah, that is Vinland Saga. Oh, and before I move on, I just wanted to maybe quickly show you guys uh, what the artwork looks like inside. I know may most of my viewers are like anime people. They're like people that love watching anime. So I um, just wanted to kind of show what you guys will get from the manga. So here's a quick frame. You guys can see that the art art style in these is really nice. And to be honest, yeah, even, even the Hunter x Hunter manga uh, didn't have great art in my opinion, but either way, I still thought it was really nice. And it, as I was reading through it, it was actually kind of like watching the anime. I kind of saw everything just play through as if I was watching the anime. I don't know. I can't really explain it, but yeah. Art style is pretty nice on this one. All right, so let's move on to the next series that I bought. All right, so the next one I bought is another really popular series, and it is from another series, which I haven't seen the manga of, um, but this one is basically, and was also in everyone's top 10, I believe, a manga series, and as well as the anime, I think it's like number one, but. But these, edi these editions were really awesome. Uh, as soon as I saw them, I knew I was gonna pick them up even though I hadn't seen the anime. And that series is for Full Metal Alchemist and these are the Full Metal Editions. So these are some nice hardcover editions and then the spines, uh, just the way that the, 
the title looks here on the spine I think is really cool. And then here's the back. And then if you open it up, it's actually like one full image for all of these. I'm not gonna open all the way up because I don't wanna mess up my, my spine for this one. And then another thing that I noticed is that the, the paper used for these is actually different from some of the other mangas that I've picked up. It definitely has a different feel to it and it feels actually much nicer. So definitely has a really premium feel to them. And I'm really glad that I picked this series up. So this is volume one. Here's volume two with Alphonse here in the front. I do remember his name because it's pretty close to mine, Alfonso. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the only guy character name that I remember. But anyways, let's get through the, the rest of these pretty quickly. Volume three with a blue tone. The back of this one does look pretty nice. I like how that hand looks with the fire. And we skipped volume four. I did purchase it, but it was actually out of print. So they didn't send it to me with, with all the rest of these that I purchased. Uh, so I'll be getting that one later. This one is volume five. Volume six, which is my personal favorite so far. I don't know why I like how the purple looks. And then this character here really looks nice here on the front cover. Here's the back. Volume seven. Volume eight. Volume nine, which also looks pretty cool. I think it might be because of the color of their eyes. It matches the color of the, of the text they decided to go with here for this one and the purple one. Volume six. And last but definitely not least, uh, volume 10. Yeah, even here I kind of noticed that his eyes look, oh actually no, they're blue, never mind. From the video here on my phone, they looked a little gray, but when I looked at it in person, they're actually blue. All right, so I think that's everything that's come out so far, um, except for of course volume four, which they didn't ship. I'll be showing that one in probably in a future video when they finally decide to send that to me. Um, but yeah, I thought these looked awesome. As you guys can kind of see here, they look pretty cool displayed this way. <laughs> I would actually like to display them like this in my uh, one of my shelves, but we'll see. I still need to figure out where I'm gonna put all my manga, but, but yeah, I'm definitely excited to check this one out and let me guys know let me know if you guys think I should watch the anime first or read the manga first for this one. I personally prefer watching the anime first just because I like seeing the, it's not only the visuals, but also the music and just, I don't know, it just hits more for me when I'm watching the anime. But nonetheless, I'd still like to know your guys' opinion. Uh, did you guys watch the anime first or read the manga or vice versa? Yeah, let me know. We have a few more sets to go through. So let me put this one, let me get this one out of the way. All right, so this next one that I have here, it is only one volume. It's for a series that they're re-releasing in a newer edition. And that one is the Soul Eater, the perfect edition. I believe at the moment there's only this one, this one available. Um, I have already ordered volume two. So that one should be here once it gets released. And the other day when I was on Right Stuff, I noticed that there was a pre-order already for Volume 3 as well. Uh, so I will be picking these up. I definitely love the look of this one. So it's also another hardcover edition. 
I love how the black background looks here and all of the characters. I mean, it, it's fitting for these characters because this, this manga and anime sort of has sort of like a gothic look going for it. So I definitely think um, that is, they, they chose the right design for this one. And then the spine also looks pretty awesome. That yellow on black, I think looks really nice. And then here is the back. So this one is being released by Square Enix Manga. But anyways, the only issue I did find with this one is that when it arrived, it sort of had this dent or tear on the side of this one. And I did email right stuff. I put in a case just to see, um, I don't know, I might end up returning this one or if they could give me some sort of partial refund for this. I mean, I know it's not that big of an issue, but uh, I do like to collect and I do like prefer it if my items came in perfect condition. So I don't know, I just put it in a case. We'll see what happens. Um, if they can't do anything about it, then I'll just keep this one. It's okay. But let's quickly open the page here, see, so you guys can take a look at the art style. So as you guys can see, it is a little different from the other ones I've shown. Oh, I forgot to show Moon Full Metal Alchemist. Well, I've showed Vinland Saga. Let me show you. I'll show you guys that uh, a page of. I'll show you guys a page of Full Metal Alchemist in a bit. But this is what um, Soul Eater looks like. So definitely, in my opinion, not as good as the Vinland Saga art style, but I mean, all of these mangas will have different art styles. This is just the one that, this is how this one's gonna look. I'm still excited to read it, and I love the, the editions that they're putting out for these. I just hope they don't stop. I don't know how that works for manga. I hope once they start, they continue to release them, but... Oh crap, I just noticed another issue here. Maybe that one can get cleaned off. But yeah, let me show you guys a quick panel of Full Metal Alchemist. Let me grab volume one here. And there you go. So this one actually looks pretty similar to the Soul Eater art style. Definitely not as detailed as Vinland Saga. Um, and another thing I forgot to mention is that the pages here, they're actually kind of, the, they look to be the same as the ones in Soul Eater. So these newer editions that they're putting out definitely have nice pages on them. But all right, uh, let's move on to the next, the next manga I picked up. All right, so these next three are huge editions. Um, as soon as I saw these, I knew I was gonna get them. Um, I'm actually gonna try to pick up as many as these type of editions as I can, just because they look really nice and the panels are huge, so you can see a lot more details when you're reading through it. And I don't know, it just feels like you can immerse yourself more into the manga as you're reading these. And these are the ones that were sealed, um, so they're not sealed anymore with wrapping paper or whatever you wanna call it, with the plastic wrap. But yeah, the first one here is High School of the Dead. Uh, this one is volume two. Again, for this one, I did order volume one as well, but it was out of stock, so I'll be getting that one at a later date once it comes back in stock. But the reason I wanted to pick this one up is because of the fact that it is a full color edition. Um, so this will be my first color manga that I read through. And I just kind of wanted to see the difference between reading a colored manga with colored pages versus reading the, the monochrome manga that usually gets released. And um, I don't know, I just thought it'd be cool. Uh, one thing I don't really like, I actually don't like the look of this. I don't, look, I don't like how all the colors look here. I think it kind of messes up the art style, the rest of the art in here in the front. But nonetheless, it still looks pretty nice. Um, so here's the front. We do get a parental advisory warning. So I won't kind of flip, flip through. Maybe I'll find, I'll try to find one that's not too bad and show you guys what the colored panel looks like, but can't show you too much on this one. Here's the spine, which again, I think that there kind of messes up the spine. 
And here we got, I know she's the main character that's on the, on the anime front cover. And then here we have the back. Which I definitely didn't pay 60 bucks for this. I paid more like 30. All right, so let me quickly kind of go through here and see if I can find a good panel to show you guys. So this first one I opened up to isn't too bad. Here's what it looks like. It looks pretty nice, actually. I kind of like it. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see how I feel when I read through this. Uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Do you guys prefer this full colored edition or just the monochrome that mangas are usually released by? All right, so that was High School of the Dead. I believe these are called like omnibus editions or like these huge, I don't know if that's what they call all of these big, bigger manga sets, but I've heard them being called like that. So I'll kind of show these next two at the same time. They're not the same series. They're just one volume of each series, but um, they're released by the same publisher and they look pretty similar. So I just thought I'd show them together. And those two are... These big bad boys. So I ended up picking up Housing Deluxe Edition Volume 1. So far for Housing, this is the only one released so far. And Berserk, I did only, well, I picked up all the volumes that are out so far, but 4 was the only one that was in stock. Volumes 1 through 3 were out of stock, so hopefully I'll get those sent to me once, once they come back in stock. In stock. But yeah, these are both pretty similar. As you guys can see here, they're kind of just opposites of each other. Here we have the red background and the black text. And on this one, we have the black background and the red text. But let's take a look at Helsing first. So here's a closer look at it. You do kind of see there are some scratch marks going through the title here. And we have the cross. And then the parental advisory sticker. Um, let me know, do you guys keep these on here or do you guys take them off? I'm not too sure. On the High School of the Dead, it was kind of printed on here, so you kind of have to leave it there. But I kind of want to remove these stickers from this one. And then here is the spine. I'll kind of compare this one with Berserk in a little bit and let you guys know which one I prefer. And then here is the back, which there's nothing back here. I mean, it's, it just still looks nice, but I definitely like the High School of the Dead that had that awesome artwork basically in the front and in the back. Uh, but these, pretty much they're both the same. This one doesn't have anything. Uh, Berserk doesn't have anything as well. And then here's another sticker that I'm probably gonna wanna take off in the future. All right, I'm gonna show the spine for a little bit just to kind of compare it with Berserk. Uh, so here's the front of Berserk. Uh, this one definitely has a rougher feel to it. They're both sort of like a leathery feel, uh, but this one feels a lot nicer actually. I prefer the feel to this one. And then here, instead of the cross, we sort of have this, I believe it's the curse mark. I've seen other people talk about it, but like I said, I haven't read or watched the anime for, my, for Berserk, so... Yeah, from what other people say, it's the curse mark. And this one is volume four. And then here is the spine. And nothing in the back. So, as far as the spines go, I actually prefer the Helsing one. Uh, just because they have this cross here, I like the way, I like the way that one looks there. Um, I think they probably could have done something similar here, put sort of the curse mark here. Uh, but yeah, that's just my opinion. I do prefer this spine over this one. And people say that the art style for Berserk is probably one of the best ones. I mean, I know it's in people's like almost everyone's number one manga of all time. And 
I've also heard that they've never been able to properly do a proper adaptation for this one in anime form. So I am excited to pick these all up. I'm planning to pick up all of these as they get released. But for now I have, or I'm gonna have volumes one through five, I believe. Five is coming out pretty soon, so I'll be getting that one in the mail too. Whoa. Let me also see if I can find a good frame to show you guys from, from Berserk. All right, so it was definitely a lot more difficult to find a more appropriate um, thing to show you guys from this manga, but here's something that I found that's okay-ish. I mean, it might be a little bit dark there, but uh, I think this is fine enough to show. And as I was going through it though, the art style is definitely really nice in this one. Definitely excited to kind of read through it. But I don't know what's going on here. I don't know who this guy is, so I don't think it's too spoilery for anyone. But yeah. And then for Helsing, let me find a quick panel to show you guys. That was pretty easy. I guess this one's not, not as bad as Berserk, but here's the art style you'll get with this one. And you guys can definitely see that the text here is a lot bigger. It'll definitely be a lot easier to read. But yeah, that was everything I picked up. Let me put everything back into frame so you guys can see everything. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I got for today's haul. I think it's definitely a good start. Um, Vinland Saga I've heard is great. Full Metal Alchemist I've heard is great. These two I've heard is great. Um, I haven't heard too much about these two, but I just wanted to pick this one up because of the full color edition. And I just love the way these look. Like I said, I'll be picking up manga that I think look cool, that I'll enjoy having on my shelf, that I'll be proud of having on my shelf. So, so yeah, expect more pickups like this as far as manga goes. Um, and like I said, I will probably pick up a few standard editions if it's anime that I really love, or if it's just a good deal. But, but yeah, I'm happy of the small collection that I have so far, and I look forward to picking up some more in the future. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.